How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is Driftwood, the eighth sock pop game from their Patreon. That in the bottom there, you see a description of the North Sea. Basically, that's what this game is. You just walk around this northern sea environment that seems to have totally dried up. Swept up sand held together by tall grass. Don't enter. You will harm flora and fauna. Wait, so can I go either direction? I kind of assumed this was my primary target was heading out this way. Maybe part of the point is that I'm supposed to kind of explore and decide which way I want to go for myself. The beach is always longer than I expect. Oh, interesting. The puddles of water are like staticky at the edges with the foam. The water lies still. There's no waves, no seagulls, no crabs, no fish. It's kind of funny because repeatedly in these projects we keep having coasts and shores and they keep playing around with cool ways of uh, exploring water physics, believable looking reflections and things like that. But here they didn't really take it much further. Like, it, it's kind of funny because it almost made it seem like they weren't going to do any of that for a second. Oh god, did I just, like, lose the ground? I'm never going to make it back. The city is a facade. Dad once told me he almost gambled our house away there. I doubt it's true. Okay, there's shore. Gotta try to not sink below water too far. I squint and spot an offshore platform. The structure is mystical in these low light conditions. Either this character is a terrible swimmer or a fantastic swimmer. They're either like drowning out here or just incredible at holding their breath. I think there's a wall. I don't think I can actually go out to the platform. Similarly, I assume I can't go all the way out to the city, so I'll, I'll make my way up the path. A blade of tall grass cuts into my calf. A drop of blood down my ankle and foot. It stings. Can't can't actually see my own feet, have to take my own word for it. I'm not sure which seems like a worse plan. Wandering out off the shore straight into the water to try to swim out to some platform, or wandering out into like a seemingly endless, desolate desert. Either way seems like a good way to die. That's the, the desert wall, so okay, you know what, go ahead and assume there's that platform wall as well. I couldn't tell if it was just like an endless staircase thing that it was tricking me into thinking I was getting closer, or if I was tricking myself. I think I was kind of tricking myself. I've reached another wall, and I do not feel like I've found many things. I know this one specifically isn't much of like a game. Kind of like a, a walking sim, a little bit of a, an experience, a few things to interact with or investigate. So far I've found like nothing. This might be one of the coolest soundtracks or, or tracks that I've seen in a sock pop game. It's just very unique and adds a lot to the tone here. There's that cool like bass line and then like a, a almost bordering on shrill but kind of cool and intriguing synth type noise going on there. I, I think that this music is cool and lends a lot to this experience. It's just unfortunate there's not really anything else going on to, to really build on that. This particular game seems to be Aaron's project from the Sock Pop Collective. I thought I would read what he had to say about it from the Patreon page because that kind of clears things up a little bit. It's a game soundscape poem. I wanted to make a personal game about going to the beach at night. I struggled for a long time trying to add gameplay or some kind of goal until I realized that going to the beach is goalless for me. I just wander around, so that's what you do in this game. 
Peace out, chill, gaze at the stars, swim a little, read some things. Recommended to play at night when you have nothing to do. Inspired by going swimming at night in the North Sea. So I guess that's why they have it listed as like a description of the North Sea.exe. It's it's less of a game and more of just kind of an interesting love letter to those serene nights just wandering around on the beach. And I kind of, I get that, I guess. Uh, it's just too bad there wasn't more than like two things to read or interact with, I guess. Seeing as this one is more of like a contemplative meditation rather than a game, I'm not really going to explore it any further. I think I've kind of looked at what there is. I know some people do enjoy walking sims for that, but I do want, I, I, I typically prefer there to be like a shred of a story to follow along with, so I'm going to set things down here. Tomorrow's game is actually a multiplayer one, so I'll be playing that with a few friends. So if you're worried, like if this isn't your thing and you're worried it's going to be more like that, uh, it's much more gamey, and there will be other people here, so that'll be cool. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again with more Sock Pop tomorrow.